Hello and welcome to my channel where I started recording and then all of a sudden my video turned off and I don't know why. <laughs> that was weird. So I'm working on making a little flippy out thing <laughs> with the envelopes like uh, I know Gail Augustinelli has done it. I think um, Amy on Crafty Cat USA has done it. Um, but they used a manila folder. I am doing something a little bit. Oh, that's why. I'm like, what is wrong? I'm trying to get. Uh, I might have to trim that up a little bit more. But not with my fabric scissors. This needs to get trimmed up just a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, I want to make one of those flippy out thingies with the envelopes. That's what I'm trying to say. But. I'm not turning it. It's not going to be a journal. It is for somebody who can't really see to read or write anymore, even though she doesn't want to admit it. So, yes, of the older generation where they don't like to admit that they can't do the things that they used to be able to do, but that's okay. I just want her to know that she is loved. So, and I'm not putting glue on the bubble wrap bit because I want that to have a little bit of movement and flick. I don't want it to be stiff. That's probably what I'm trying to say. So I want to get this. So I have a piece of cardboard underneath the bubble wrap so that I have something solid to connect my um, flippy out thing to flat and solid. So the texture on the back will be the squishy bubble wrap plus some mink, minky fabric. So I'm going to sew that on the back, the squishy side. And I'm going to, I need to find, I'm going to have to cut this down to, unless I do this, hold on. Might have to do this. Although that's going to make that a little on the thick side, isn't it? Problem is, I'm not going to be able to see easily where my edges are unless I possibly sew from this side. In which case, I want to go over a little bit, but not too much. So it means I need to come down this way just a little bit. Really? Oh, I must have something sticky in me. In this way, just a little bit. Oh, sorry. That was probably really loud in the microphone there. And then I'll, I'll trim the minky fabric off when I uh, am done. So I'm going to have a little bit of overage on there. And see, so this is going to fray so much, but I only need to lose a tiny bit here. Okay. So tiny that I can't even it easily. All right. I love some ticking. Makes me happy. So I'm going to, okay, first of all, I'm going to put my glue thingy back in here and I don't need a lot of glue on here, just enough to hold it till I can sew it. And also, so it doesn't become all um, loose and whatnot. Sorry about that. I have a different camera set up today, which means I'm going to hit it a lot, so I might need to move it to my left side since I'm right-handed. That may make more sense. All right, I am not finding my... See, this was me trying to have everything out and ready, but it's not. <laughs> not even a little bit. All right, don't need that yet. need to move it out of the way, actually. Well, the last time I did glue it, it didn't help anyway. I still ended up coming off the edge. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this on the inside of the edge, not where I'm gonna actually sew, just to hold that into place. And then I'm gonna do that here too on the bumpy part just on the edge there. 
then I'm gonna sew it. Do you wanna see me sew or do you want me to pause while I sew? Cause it's gonna be loud right in your ear. I have a, di oh yeah, I changed my desk. I don't think I've made a video since I've done that. I've changed my desk around. And what I mean by that is um, I put the small table downstairs and brought my big Alex Ikea desk upstairs, which is the desk I bought for myself in the first place. And it had the computer on it, which was also supposed to be for me. But my boys spend all their time down there, so. I And, my, and Nathan used to kind of complain about this desk being too big anyway. And I had the issue with my table being too small. So, solve that problem. And that means, whoops, that for the most part, except for the cords getting stuck there, I can fit my sewing machine on my desk and get it level. I don't know if you'll be able to. Well, let's turn, well, let's plug. Of course, it also means I have to like plug my foot in and unplug my foot every time. Sounds weird to say. Make sure there's not something on the foot. Alright. We're not going to worry about the, um, yeah. I just can't easily keep the foot plugged in, that's all. But it's probably safer not to anyway. Also, it would be good if the foot was actually on the floor and not on the tissue box. Yeah, that's the thing. I moved everything so I could get this table in here. This table takes up more space and it was already a mess in here. So now it's just even more of a mess. So I have a lot to do, but I have this the right way. Yes, good. So how I do this doesn't really matter so much. Except I want to make sure to get this corner in up here. So I'm going to start down a little bit. All right, one, two, three, four. And since it's fabric, but it's got paper underneath, I'm gonna do a two and a half and a two and a half zigzag. All right, if you don't like the noise, then you're gonna have to, I don't know. It's not too, too horrible. It's not feeding pretty well though, because it's so thick. That side's gonna be like Let's put one more. I think Gail always says end on the left before you turn. Are we still yeah, it's okay. And then this is gonna be harder to go straight. Especially since I came over too far. Ugh. And then we're gonna go back a couple. And this side is gonna be really messy stitching because it wasn't feeding right. All right. Let's see if I can get this to feed better. Because it's so thick. There's like two layers of paper. And the minky fabric, which is fairly thick. And the um, ticking is a little bit on the thick side, too. So I just have to kind of give it a little shove so it will me the right the right um can I go one more I'm not sure yes my camera is in a really bad place I apologize all right okay one more and to the left of course, the clean edges aren't going to matter so much on this because part of this will be covered. So, we'll go over a little bit and we're good. So, now what I have is unplug my foot <laughs> and hope I don't lose it. I do have it, I have um, this on here, and then I have a little hook over here to put it on, which kind of the hook closes up. So that keeps me from losing the other end of my foot. There we go. All right. Let me go ahead and use my fabric scissors. That's what the dark pink means. And so she can, um, she'll have this minky texture to feel. And also the bubble under there is 
it's just under that drop paper. So you can still feel the bubbles under there. This side is flat because we have the cardboard under there. I know, it's only been a minute. You know all that, but just, you know. Let me see. Let me cut this down a little bit first. Because the straightest thing about this is going to be that piece of paper, so. And it's not even going to be exact. So that way, I can come on this side. Cut this fabric, which one way it will tear and the other way it will not. And so, I'm just going to cut it. I probably could use my um, little other scissors, you know, the, what are they called? They're called, the, oh, frisk, I almost had it, you know, the little, the little, oh my goodness, when other people can't remember what they're called in a video, I can usually remember, but can I remember right now? No. Pinking shears. Yeah, probably could have used those, but oh well. All right. We're just going to follow this little red line right here, which is going to cut into our paper a little bit, but I think we'll be all right. All right, because size is not so important because we've made our base and so everything else won't matter so much. So there's our first two textures, really, and then this is another texture if it's able to be felt at all anywhere. There is no up, right, left, but I'm hoping this will get covered nicely. Okay. Now, let me see if I can figure this out. This envelope is too tall, but that doesn't mean we won't use it. This is a smaller one. This is a bigger one. That was gonna do something else on. I, I really probably should have watched the video, but I'm alright. I'm going to use... That is not a card. For some reason, I thought that was a card. Okay. We're covering these, right? Let's see. So I was going to probably use one of these. And just hold it. Because it's just pretty and then I don't have to decorate it and it won't make it extra thick. Alright. And then this one that is... I'm going to put it down like that, I think. And one more for this side. Each need three, right? Um... I know I could have done a little more planning here. So, that will open up. What if... That attaches there. So then... And one more thing on this side. Not that. Oh, I, got another, I have another envelope over here. So there one, two, one, two. One, two. Which I might want that one to be the last one, though. And one more envelope or something. This is an envelope. This might go right here. Okay. Now oh, those are the same size, so duh. Okay, so I'm gonna do those like that. And then we'll have this one will be on the top. And then this one will be down here. So 
that, that, and that. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. All right, so we'll start with that envelope, followed by that, followed by that, followed by this down here. That stays under there though, right? Followed by this, which would be in the middle a little more, I think. Followed by this. Wait, what did I start with? One, one, all right. I did it backwards, because I need to end up with that one on top, so. That means that one. Oops, don't want you. All right. All right. So that one, then 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 that one. All right. Now I just have to glue stuff. That's the easy part. All right. All right. Where's my fabric tag? Sorry, I wasn't in screen in the. This is gonna take some getting used to. Probably should have paused for that. Which is this one? It's fabric fix, so it's not gonna be as wet. Okay. I found the elastics to be the easiest for putting these in. It's just easier. Alright. And I think everybody decorated them after, right? After they glued everything in. I don't know. We'll see. We will definitely see. So I'm going to glue this flap. I'm not going to forget to do it. Some other people forgot to do. Let's see. I think this is going to be long enough. Yeah, this should be long enough. On my halfway mark. So I could sew it in, huh? Put a little glue on there. This is a little fabric flip, not fabric flip, but fabric snippet. I want to put it on this way. I'm going to lose those. Eh. That I purchased from Jessica Rapp. I think she made it from a an old quilt and she just cut down and did that okay now let's go ahead and put that there now the problem that I'm gonna have here is besides trying to glue everything on fabric and hope that it all stays is making sure that that glue does not get wet. The envelope glue. So I'm wondering if I should go ahead and cover that with something. Even if it's more fabric, just because. How cute is that? I think I will, just for funsies. Do a little bit of strawberry fabric right there I don't even need it that thick let's see eh, maybe I'll do it that thick I don't know uh, how thick was it comes to about here so I'm doing a little bit different I'm not just using envelopes I'm sticking some fabric in there um I don't know I'm getting my finger all gluey. <laughs> now that might not be different. We all do that, don't we? I don't have a, was it somebody was using a, no, that was just her water-based glue. Uh, the, um, I think she was using a rubber band or something. Um, personally, oh, I'm just gonna grab one of the backs of my napkins, because I have a million of them, because I have some napkins to send out soon. I've had them sitting there for a week. I keep forgetting to take them with me when I leave to go to the post office. 
Although, technically, I could put the postage on them. All right, so there's ah, my first envelope for that side. And then the next thing we were doing was this one, right? Which I think I'm actually going to put that one down like that because I don't... Well, there is some pink in here. I just... I don't know. I'm going to cover it anyway, probably, so it doesn't matter. But then if I use a light-colored... Um, If I use a light colored fabric, those won't show through. Well, now I'm going to be sad that that envelope covers up so that I don't see the... Oh, I will see it. That works. And I think I can do this one side at a time because I think that's how when Gail did it, she's the only one I think I've seen do this. I think what she did is put one side together, put the other side together, and then I guess I didn't have to cover that envelope to keep the glue from getting activated, did I? Oh well, whatever. Oh shoot, this one's needs to go just the tiniest bit. Come on. Sorry. And then this is how it will tie with that really thick. I <laughs> don't know if that's gonna work or not. It has to work. Okay. Alright, so one side is glued in there. And do you remember what I was using on the other side? Oh, we had our lovely Tim Holtz paper and our lovely ripped coffee dyed paper and and nobody it's nobody I wouldn't fret about it if I were you I don't know I just said Arlington I don't even know anybody in Arlington usually Verizon will at least tell us it's spam they didn't even tell us that this time. Alright. So, putting that down there. I won't have as much to put in the envelope, per se. That's why I didn't need as many envelopes, because I don't have a lot to put in the envelopes. This one's pretty. I'll have to put some blue ticking on here somewhere too because it will go nice with that. I have some other fabric that is a weird pattern. Not weird pattern, but it's, um, uh, I have a big pile of fabric next to me. The big pile of everything I've been working on, thinking about working on next to me. Blue ticking is there. If nothing else, but where is the blue? I looked a minute ago and I didn't find it in this pile, so it must have ended up in a different pile, maybe. And I love that minky, I think that's what it's called, the blue, fa the dark blue fabric. I think it's called a minky fabric, and I just realized I'm talking far away from the. Oh, here it is. This right here. It's got a lot of texture on it, so I want to use that somewhere. 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 Um, okay, I'm going to put away the Fabri-Tac and use art glitter glue for this last one. And we've got some nice... Should I do it this way instead? I really like for that part to show because it's just so pretty. Sure, we'll do a little bit different than we've done some of the other ones. Because that's what I want to do. And hopefully it all comes out just fine. Alright. Is that, I've got that over too far? Of course I do. Uh, of course I do. I forgot to leave a, um, we're just gonna re just gonna make a new fold on that. It's gonna be easier. 
and Hmm, I should have probably done something on that envelope, but that's all right. All right, so if we go here, 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 nope, and <laughs> here, 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 and then here. There we go. There's our order. So we have our, our biggest one on top, and then we will, already halfway down here, have that to tie it with, which also has a lot of texture because there's um, some cotton fabrics and some polyester fabrics and they're all vintage and old and so this is that's the base right there now it's time to decorate all right I think I need some of this fabric that I just found I wonder if it will rip like other fabric does nope it won't <laughs> Let's see. And there's not any really pattern for me to follow either. Definitely gonna have to get my when I do a cover with this because I'll be I got enough of this, so I'll be able to do some covers with it. We will. I will have to. Well, that's just a big old mess. I'm not quite sure where I had it somewhere. I ha I do have a a fabric thing I could use to did I just do the wrong scissors? Is that oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry. Let's see. Alright, I wanna get this cut at least a little bit straight, at least on one side. This might be kind of like a fabric flip is what this might end up being. I don't know. That was weird. Something just happened on my screen, I thought, but maybe not. Alright, that is fairly straight. This is not horrible. So now I just need to... I don't know if you can hear my boys or not. They are doing their thing downstairs. Um, I think they're recording because it's... My husband went down to see his parents today and help out put the trusses up on the roof of the new um, garage, I think, is what it is. I will go ahead and since I don't know exactly where my rotary cutter is, then we'll just but oh that probably helps if I can be in front of myself more and stop. Alright. So if I do that there, put some paper under here. Is that too much um, pattern on the first? And we'll go for pretty instead of pattern this time. This is a nice big pattern that she should be able to see easily. and I probably will have trouble trying to merge my videos later because that's what happens when somebody calls and my video is paused and I didn't get a chance to oh hold on and then I usually forget to plug my uh, microphone back in too <sighs> shoot now that one's come apart they both come apart now I just I've had a, I had about four four and a half hours of sleep last night so I'm not in a great mood right now anyway. And then people calling and interrupting when I'm trying to do something is frustrating. And knowing that it's gonna cause more problems is frustrating. Um, my son waited till midnight last night to put his new sensor on. He uses continuous glucose monitor. So every 10 days he puts on a new sensor and 
he's been getting later and later so it didn't work it said he was 53 and going down but when he tested he was like in the 140s so I said them to have us freak out for nothing <laughs> not that anybody does it on purpose and so then you have to like it wasn't accepting the calibration you do a finger check of the blood sugars and then you calibrate and it wasn't accepting any of that so there was that um, so that's like every 15 minutes and then my son was like well just give it time it'll get better if it's gonna get better look it did not get better so this morning and then it said you know wait three hours and still wasn't working so we gave up I think before the fifth three hours was up it was telling him to calibrate again so we gave up and we um, put in a new sensor just to save us from more heartache you know all right this is like glittery and it definitely has some texture so I want to use that got a lot of color going on in here it might not all match perfectly but that's all right that's not the glue I want I guess I'll use this one and I'm not going to put a lot of tags. I will have some tags, but I, they're going to basically be pictures, no small words or anything like that. Um, and then if I can do some that have some texture on them, I'll do that. Or like a big butterfly on it, or big bird, or not, not big bird from Sesame Street, but a big bird. You really have to be careful when you're doing these so that you're not um, putting them in upside down. <laughs> because uh, everything's gonna be upside down when everything else is upside right all right so I had some um this is from a book I bought this week the um the end pages which I thought was really pretty and so I put that in there and I will probably put it on the other side somewhere too possibly just to bring it on to the other side and then I ended up cutting this fabric down and I just placed it there so it's just some color and texture right there we have some texture here and I need to figure out what to do here I don't know what to do there do you have a, another piece of the fabric there oh wait I had some pink well let's see what do we have for paper uh, this mimics the circles and it has some green for over here so and it has a little bit of um, raised parts. It embossed it a little bit when I um, did that. So I want to, I don't know what I want to do, but I'm going to do our precise measuring here. Fold it right there, and that's where I'm going to cut it. You know, as crafters, we like to be real precise. No, really, we just hate to measure, which is the side I just did. Oh, I don't even want to go over that far. Let's see. So now I have to cut that again. But I don't know. That's just kind of grim too gringy. Oops. Right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this opening up here and just make a pocket on this side, I think. Because it's going to be hard to get in on that side. So... Um, I mean, I guess I could do a cut along here and do a pocket, but I don't need a lot of pockets anyway. And I don't need that glue. I want this glue. So, I'm going to go ahead and, <clears throat> I'm going to try, go ahead and glue this down. I'm just going to glue this down too. It'll just be, if I want to add any pockets, I'll add pockets. I want to add, can I just do this? That's more bumpy on this side. Okay. Alright, right there. And I want to cut the other one down a little bit so we can see those. So we can see those tulips. Show through the tulips. I think I want to see more of those tulips. Okay. 
Okay. And now I just fling, fling, fling. The reason I paused in the first place was to find my cutter because, you know, I'm, it was, actually it wasn't even to the left of me. I thought it might have been to the left of me, but it wasn't. All right, good. You can still see some of those tulips. So let me go ahead and sew this down. Let me go ahead and glue this down. So I was hoping I could be a little closer if I'm not on the tripod as far as closer over to what I'm doing. But that means I'm like a lot closer, closer. But Gail has had people say they like seeing it closer. Not that I'm anywhere near the scale of Gail. Like, not even close. <laughs> but that's okay. So we have some circles and circles pattern and then big flowers. Anybody can see those, right? And what did I do here? I guess I didn't have it cut down quite enough. Hmm. Precision scissors would be better here. I don't like the way that looks with the... Something just blew in front of my face. Now one thing I did notice, when you're gluing your envelopes together, you want to leave like an eighth of a inch an eighth of an inch quarter of an inch eighth of an inch a little tiny space just so your um can fold and not um get too bulky and not be able to fold which i think well in the ones that i where i for didn't do that um i just made a new fold basically okay So the next one, that's this one, is underneath here. So something greenish, pinkish, unless I just bring this over here. Or, here, this has the blue and the yellow and the, so I think I'll just do this. It's fun, it's bright. And that's what we want. this in half. My paper's making a lot of noise, isn't it? Sounds like metal roof getting blown in the wind. Okay. Now, where did I make my cut? That's the question. And... Well, that's nice. That's nice and helpful not. Alright, so there. Because I know it was right along. Oh, there it is. And I don't need to probably do any distressing. It'll just add mess to me. <laughs> it doesn't make me messy. Alright, and then I think, alright, we're off on the edge a little bit there, so what I think I'll do is I'll just add some lace in here. Because I've got, should I have the lace come off or should I have the lace come in? I think it'll be a thin lace so I can come in with it. And I'll probably put some of that red polka dot in here too, maybe, possibly. I don't know, I've got that blue polka dot as well. super crooked on there. That's all right. We will make it work. All right. It came up a little bit on there just to give it a little bit of... All right. Let me at least... Maybe my envelope was crooked. Mm. Okay, even though it's crooked on this side. So one of my cuts had to be like super crooked there. But that's all right. Go 
ahead and cut that off of there too. Which is a lot easier with the precision scissors, isn't it? So, where did I put all that lace I had yesterday? Of course it's in the drawer. That's like great. Sorry. I gotta get into that drawer. Wait, is that? No, maybe not. Maybe I need, no, yep, that's where it all is. I think this one will be fine. If I can find the other end of it. Because it's nice and thin. So it won't be super bulky. Just got to make sure it dries before I take these out. Stick them out there just in case. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. And we're back to looking at my scissors. Isn't that fun? So, what I said, this you're going to see some bright on this particular. I know. What's the point of this? Well, the problem is my string's hanging down, so I'm going to have to hold it. But. that to hang off a little bit. Already got glue all over me. It'll just peel off later anyway. Um, I gotta figure out where to put him too. I could just put a little corner tuck right here to tuck him in. Two corners. Something. I don't know. I kind of like him. I like the hound's tooth on the back and they're just friends having fun. All right. I should have probably done a smaller, but I really like that this was old and vintage. And the lady I'm giving it to is, I think she's in her 70s. So I wanted to give her something that she would enjoy. Let's see. I want to put some more of these. Um. red one I guess. I'll fussy cut it a little bit. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it but you know. <gasps> Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Use my freaking fabric scissors. Oh my goodness. Those need to stay over to the side and away from my paper. Oh my goodness. I'm so mad at myself right now. <laughs> what was I thinking? Seriously. What the heck was I thinking? We're going to bring this tulip in somewhere else at some point. I'm going to bring the top of this tulip in somewhere too. It'll just kind of come off from the corner somewhere or something. I don't know. the bottom we'll see these were so cute this was a project book from like the 70s probably did i ever look at the thing i'll show you the book yeah i've already torn these books apart and i've got them um so this was handicrafts and i paid about 254 although i get four books get one free so take that in. So I've already torn them apart and I've already figured out which ones will be for journal pages and which ones will be for a glue book. And 1973. And the pages feel nice. They're not like glossy. And I love them. So they'll be perfect. And then, so yeah. And they'll, so look at any cute. I wonder if I should put that in there. He's a little creepy looking, but a little cute too. So that was one of the books I got yesterday. Oh, and that reminds me. I have, I can use some of my music paper. I don't have to be afraid to use my music paper anymore. I found three books yesterday. They're all lesson books, but like two were from 1938 and one was from 1940 something. 49, 40, uh, 1950, no, 1940 something. I forget. All right. 
All right, all right, all right. I'm going to use some music paper. You can see like some pencil marks here and there. So these are my collage pages. Normally I would rip these, but since I'm not distressing, I don't really need to. But I do want fairly straight lines. And I want to take off some of the edge. So that it's... And then for this, I'm going to do it sideways too, I think. So, right there. Oh, it must be snack time downstairs. I can hear the crinkle of paper. Of course, for Joel, my 25-year-old, it's pretty much always snack time, I think. Bless his heart. He's so cute. He's not taken either. He's available, ladies. Oh, no, that's what I hear. They're putting together a Lego thing. Because... His father is not really on board with him buying Lego sets, so he kind of keeps them in his room or whatnot. But to, on a day like today, when his father is out, he can um, Lego to his heart's content. That's what he's doing, and they were doing some recording and playing some games together. They do some Terraria and Minecraft, and um, Skyrim, Nathan likes to play on his own, I think. Well, I think that is a, a single-player game. I don't know. When I was doing a media-free week, and I was only listening, I was, I wanted to listen to music, but I just listened to music without words. I think one of the theme from Skyrim is actually one of the songs that I found. I was like, does this sound familiar? He goes, oh yeah, I know what that is. Well, something to that effect. What if I put... Gosh, so now we're like really far out. I can't go out or higher. Or, can't go higher? A little bit higher. There we go. This is actually gray. It's looking a little purple, but it's gray. Well, if you've seen the Tim Holtz, then you'll know. All right. So, where are we? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun. Alright, so here, I think I will stick a tulip. We're going to tiptoe through the tulips. Tiptoe through the tulips. My sons already know that I'm crazy. So it's okay. Let's see. See, I'm look if I want to put a little pocket there, I want to... I really like those showing though. Let's see, should I go sideways? Nah, just go here where I was. But I will go over far enough so I can see my treble clef there. Alright, let's see. Could put the red one too, but I don't want to. This might need something. We'll see. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Okay, so here. I don't really want to do blue again already, but this is my last place to use paper, so I think I'll use blue on this side, and let's see, right there. There, so we can do that. Let's see if I can even still find my little fold marks. There's one. I want to figure out. I haven't figured out what I want to do if I want to cover that envelope bit. But then I cover my strawberries. So what we might do is just come back on this side. Even so, I'm like, probably not going to be able to cut it straight. Let's try. 
Now, when Joel's happy, you can always tell that he hums. He has no idea he does it. He's so cute. Seriously, ladies, he's so cute. All right, so that's good. And we still see some strawberries. And I'm going to go ahead and come in on this side, too. And I may or may not curve the edge there. We'll see. So I'm afraid if I go too short, then I'll lose my, see I'm already over that just a little bit. That's all right. I will come forward this way and just put a little lace there. I'm thinking about making this a big pocket. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I only need to do here and here and except for I probably need to go here because it's going to fold but I might also go like that. Mm, we'll see. I might have a little tech spot on that side. Right. Come over just a little bit. So the blue polka dots are kind of nice against that other blue. I don't know if you can see it. Now I need to bend. Bend the knees. And then we have that red there, which is nice. So, all right, let's go ahead and do lace. Where's the end? <laughs> end the lace. End the lace. End the lace. Add the lace. You can never tell which is supposed to be the right side. That's all right. Probably should have done the fabric tack. This one sometimes is gives me a hard time. I want to off the page a little bit at least. So yeah, if you have something that doesn't quite like you might have cut it a little short, add a little lace. There you go. Add a little texture and dimension. And those are the same thing, but that's okay. Alright, this side. What are we looking at here? So was this, 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 and this. Okay. Don't have to do anything to that one. That's why I like that I did a double thing there. So this right here. Um, get the blue, get some red showing, got some of the pink showing. Oh, I still want to add, actually just might do this. Um, I've got some handmade paper here and I'm going to fold it in half well, it's half as you can with paper that's ripped because <laughs> in here I want to write in nice big letters you are loved so it's really hard to rip this paper it is some thick paper so what I did when I got it it had, um, it was, well, anyway, I took out the screws that held it all in. And I'm going to have that overlap. and glue on this because that piece of paper is bigger than this and I'm okay with it hanging off because you know texture we like texture texture we like so you know like with all of our people that are having to live 
not in there, you know, um, I think she's, I can't remember what happened, if she's in a rehab kind of place, or, I don't know that it's a nursing home, but, you know, people are lonely and sad, and, you know, not able to see their family, and it's depressing, so my friend wanted to do something for her mom, and so I decided to, this would be a fun thing to do. I'm just going to put that right in the middle there. That way we still have plenty of the texture, but we have a little pop of color there. Oh, yeah, that's what I should do. You're right. Let's see. Well, first of all, let's put a little piece of that there. It won't even show, but we're going to do it anyway. I just like that. I don't know if it's a seersucker. It's some kind of... It's cotton, that much I know. And I just kind of love it. Let me go ahead and do a piece of this green. Because we do have some green in here. This one you can definitely tell from, from the back, yes. Since I'm doing lace onto fabric, well, and the paper is practically fabric too. I guess I probably should have done this for stay. I'm gonna have to re-glue my tulip too. Okay, do that, and I think I'll do another piece of this too. Kind of gradually going. You guys remember where the end was? <laughs> Still don't know. I don't know if you want to see the lines or you don't want to see the lines. Clueless. But it's pretty no matter which way you put it, fortunately. Okay, I guess I need to put some of this on here now, probably. We have all that fabric going on. I still need to work on fixing my uh, my glue stuff. I'll just put that like that. Well, I feel like that could have gone over a little bit more, but that's okay. That's what it's going to be. Try to do one more piece of lace on this side just to. Bring it over to that. I think I will. Just putting all the laces, even ones we didn't use, right on there. Ugh, weavers. Um, just trying to find a place to put the gloover because my trash is behind me and I can't reach it easily. Alright. Put this behind here. Layering does not, I, mean, I just, right now I'm just hoping it looks good. I'm just not really great at layering. I either want to do too much, too little, or I don't, I just don't do it at all. All right, I'm gonna put a note there. And I think, where is it? He's too big for that. I had a bookmark that I painted. Where did it go? Where did he go? Where did he go? And he'll fit. The bookmark will fit. If I can find the bookmark. I saw it. Oh, here he is. Unless it's too tall. So, yeah, that's, um, that I, I painted that. I used my light board to, uh, hopefully he's not too tall. No, he's not too, too tall. So, I, yeah, I used the light board to trace and then painted it. I wonder if there's something small I can put in there. So how did I do this? He won't fit there without bending. I might just... I don't know. I don't, do we think... What did everybody else do with their middles? 
So I don't want to lose that either. But if I make it kind of a flip, um, but then you still see under there. Hmm. What to, oh, I still have to do something with this. <laughs> it's so soft. It would be creepy if I cut a bunny out of it. Plus, it would be messy. It's not easy to work with. So, let's see. What if I put it back here? It would be too bulky. Wow, this is going to be quite the... Let's see. He doesn't have to be this big. I just want a little bit. Like, I can even do just a little bit there. Be like a cloud something. I just want some fluff. And if I cut it across the back, there's a little bit of a line there. Kind of. Doesn't mean I'm staying on the line I'm looking at, but... Yeah, see? It gets everywhere. Um, the, I, I, and it's not cheap either. It's kind of expensive stuff, but... What I will use the rest of it for is um, I'm going to do a wolf journal for my son. So it'll be perfect for that. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Let's see. What sticks out the most here? No? It's kind of like, it's not even the colors I have in here. I just want her to be able to feel soft. Soft, soft, soft. I wonder if I turn it into a tag of some sort. Um, yeah, I'm going into three videos soon. Well, you know what? I'm going to keep working on this, and um, I'll show you in the next video. Uh, I'll keep working on it in the next video. So y'all have a delightful day, and much love. And I hope you do something fun for creating. Bye-bye now.